Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you two ways to create a, a Microsoft team. Uh, now, uh, Microsoft Teams, of course, is a chat-based collaboration tool. Uh, it allows you to uh, collaborate, uh, chat uh, with your team members in a persistent uh, chat format. Uh, and of course, you can use Microsoft Teams to link to other, um, you know, to other uh, websites, to other content, other information. Uh, as well as, of course, have uh, uh, Teams um, conference calls, you know, uh, web-based uh, um, uh, video, audio uh, conference calls. Um, however, the, this is not what this uh, particular video is all about. Today, I would like to explain to you two uh, ways to create a new Microsoft team. Before we do that, uh, I want to kind of explain to you uh, the uh, uh, behind the scenes of uh, Microsoft team. Uh, when you create a new team. Teams by itself does not exist out there in space. When you create a new Microsoft team, uh, um, it actually creates everything that you see on this image. All right, Teams uh, is part of an Office 365 group. Office 365 group is essentially a group uh, security uh, membership group. So when you create a new team, you end up with everything you see on this image. All right, so when you create a new team, you also get a SharePoint site that is attached uh, to the team. Uh, that's where the documents are stored, by the way, that you upload uh, through Teams interface. You get a, an Outlook uh, calendar. Uh, you get a distribution list. Uh, and you also get an ability to manage tasks and planner. And of course, everything is tied together through Office 365 Group. So whoever you designated as your team members, uh, pretty much um, not only they can uh, chat with you uh, within a team, they can also, uh, they also have access to all this other um, uh, assets that you see on this image as well. So uh, very important to understand that because every time you create a new team, it creates everything else, all right? Now, so let's go ahead and create a new team. So I'm going to click uh, create a new team button over here. We're going to create a new team. And you will get to see two choices, build a, a team from scratch and create from an existing group. And um, if we, I use this option right here, if I use this option, build a team from scratch, all right, and let's just say it's a private team and uh, give it uh, uh, a name, all right, and hit create. Right now, uh, didn't take long, right now, uh, it actually uh, created uh, a team for me. Obviously, I have a place uh, to chat and everything, but behind the scenes, it also created everything else. All right. Uh, it created a site, a calendar, etc. Now, uh, here's the situation though. What if you already, there are situations, right, uh, 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 you know, where you might already have an existing Office 365 group, but uh, might not necessarily have a team attached. You know, because what happens is when you create a team from teams, it creates a team and everything else. However, uh, I could also create a new group from SharePoint uh, or Outlook or Planner. In those cases, the uh, teams is not created. All right. Uh, just uh, to explain to you what I'm talking about, if I go, let's say, to um, uh, let's go, uh, let's go to my uh, SharePoint. Uh, um, uh, homepage, uh, SharePoint start page to be precise. And if I create a team site from here, right, I'm obviously creating an Office 365 group. As a result, I, it's not, I'm not going to get a Microsoft Teams uh, attached to it automatically. So uh, in my scenario, I have lots and lots of sites maybe created by users through uh, SharePoint or Outlook interface. Uh, where they created all these different groups, uh, but the team uh, the team uh, was not really created. Here is an example of a user who had to create a new group from uh, Outlook. Again, um, the Office 365 group is created, but the team is not automatically attached. Uh, well, now I want um, maybe I have an existing site, I have an existing group, I want uh, to to start chatting with in Teams, but if I were to use this option. It's going to build a new uh, everything for me, a new site, a, a new, uh, a new, uh, um, you know, a new group, essentially, a new uh, Outlook calendar, etc. I don't want that. Well, luckily, we have the second option: create from an existing group. And if I click that and click on Office 365 group, 
it lists for me here all the Office 365 groups that I have in my environment that I have obviously uh, access to that currently do not have a team attached, all right? And essentially, I can pick one of those uh, one of those groups. Let's uh, pick this one, for example. All right. And hit create button. And look at this. Now I got a, a, a I got a Microsoft team. Now I can chat. But behind the scenes, uh, behind the scenes, uh, no new site or new group was created. It pretty much attaches a team to an existing group. All right. So obviously, and this is permanent, right? Obviously, uh, once created, you cannot really disconnect it anymore. Uh, so um, hopefully, that's what you intended to do. Uh, but obviously, very, very convenient because this way I can just add a team to an existing group that I have may maybe have been using uh, for years, and uh, now uh, all of a sudden I, can, I also have the chat capability as well, and I don't end up with um, with additional. Uh, with additional assets that I don't need, all right? And obviously, uh, hopefully, this is uh, self-explanatory. Uh, you can only have one team per group. You cannot, I mean, you can pretty much get uh, one of uh, everything that's listed here. Uh, with Planner, it's a, it's a, bit, a bit of an exception. Uh, with Planner, you can actually have multiple plans per group. Uh, and uh, for teams, uh, pretty much just one uh, per group. All right, so uh, this is it. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you today, uh, two ways to create a Microsoft team. Uh, and um, uh, hopefully you, you found this uh, video helpful. As always, uh, we'll be happy to see on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.